Did you know one of the biggest reasons that most people are held back is their self-talk? Well, in this video, we're gonna cover the three levels of self-talk so it doesn't happen to you, so stay tuned. So I learned a long time ago that one of the most important things that you have to overcome is how you talk to yourself. Why? Because that's the voice in your head. That's the one that's constantly whispering about various things that you have to overcome or various things you haven't done yet or training you don't have or anything of that nature. So I also learned that there is also three levels. They build upon themselves and over time, you can actually overcome them and also know where you're at in the process to actually get to a place where you can actually make the transformation that you probably desperately want. All right, so let's break these down. First of all, my little buddy here with the spike, we're gonna give him some spiky hair for fun, right? Is the doubter, okay? That's the self-doubt that we all faced. It doesn't matter if you faced it when you were in preschool or if you're facing it right now. Doubt, unfortunately, steals from your potential. Why? Because it's not letting you step into your potential. So you wanna definitely take care of self-doubt. How do you overcome self-doubt? When a thought comes in that causes you to doubt yourself, I want you to stop in the moment and I want you to take the time to actually talk to yourself in a positive direction. No, I can do this or I must do this. No more of this I can't crap, right? I can't will never help you get anywhere. Why? Because can't never gets anything done, right? I want to make sure we do that. Number two is going to be the questioner, okay? So doubt is starting to kind of fall away a little bit. It's starting to feel a little better, right? You're starting to have more questions rather than doubts. Not about, hey, can I do this? But more about how am I going to do this? Who do I need to connect with? Who, where, what step do I need to take? That is the questioning phase, okay? So as we move from the doubter through the questioning phase, one of the things we're trying to do is we're building confidence. Right? Because the confident can. Confidence takes time and also using the challenge thought method that I just mentioned it a couple seconds ago with the doubter. Questioners are more about how, what, when, where. Doubters are more about if, can. So can I, if I. Okay? So this is the transition we're trying to make, which takes us to the third one which is the believer. Believers have built confidence over time. And what the believer does differently than the doubter, the doubter uses the past in an effort to try to predict the future, where the believer uses the anchors of success to be the motivators of the future. Okay, so motivation comes from past successes. Consider that for a second. What are things right now in your life that you've already done well that you could use as an ignition switch, if you will, to take you to the next phase? Stop thinking about all the stuff you can't do or you haven't done or you, you're not even sure if you can do. Instead, start looking for the ways to get there. How can I get there? What do I need? When, when, what is my deadline? What's my outcome? What's my desired level? Where? Where, where do I need to go? Who do I need to talk to? Like, look at those types of questions. And as you start getting answers, you're going to get the confidence. And over time, that confidence is going to become essentially belief. What we refer to as an empowering belief, which we've talked about in previous whiteboard lessons. If you haven't checked that out, that's definitely one you want to check out. But in the meantime, this is the track record. This is the transition. Okay. Doubter, questioner, believer. I can promise you that at this phase in the game, okay, this is when good things, even great things begin to take shape. So if you've been stuck over here with our spiky hair friend all this time, you're missing out. So stop doubting, start winning, start believing because you can, I know you can, and you're willing to, you're worth the effort and the, and you have the willingness. Now put it in action. See you in the next video. Hey, it's Connor with the Journey Principles. If you enjoyed that lesson, you should totally grab our free ebook linked in the description of this video. It's all about self-awareness and it'll really take you to another level. Also, do us a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.